What up, everyone? Mr. Downtown Raymond. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Friday, September 20th, 2024. Delivering so many your stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Raymond. That's R A Y M E L O. On Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Mm-hmm. Netflix released a preview for Don't Move, a new thriller from, from Sam Remy. The movie captures a woman's desperate attempt to save her own life after a serial killer poisons her. The film follows Iris, played by Kelsey Asbill, who is navigating a personal tragedy and seeking relief from her pain in a Big Sur forest. Instead of finding peace, however, she bumps into a hiker who wants to kill her. Brian Netto, who is one of the film's directors, says, Don't Move is a story of a woman who finds herself in a situation where she's struggling. She's at a low point. All of a sudden, she finds herself dosed with a paralytic, and her body is going to slowly but surely shut down and the fight won't last long. She has about 20 minutes before the drug's full effect kicks in. Um, the killer, played by Finn Wintruck, says in the trailer, at minute one, your fine motor skills will start to go. At minute 10, your legs will begin tingling. Minute 15, your legs will give out altogether. Minute 18, your breathing will become labor. And just before everything shuts down on you, your voice. In addition to Asbill and Wintruck, uh, Moray Treadwell and Daniel Francis also star. Don't Move drops on Netflix October 25th. Netflix has more Arcane and Cyberpunk in the works. The streaming service shared a teaser for Arcane Season 2 and announced plans for a new Cyberpunk series during its Geek Week event Thursday. Arcane is an animated series set in the world of the video game League of Legends. The show centers on Jinx, voiced by Ella Purnell, and Vi, played by Haley Sainfield, two sisters on opposite sides of a conflict between the utopian city of Plit Over and the oppressed underworld of Zaun. The season two teaser, titled Nothing to Lose, shows Vi, played by Steinfeld, uh, taking over a number of opponents at the Pit Over Boxing League as she is haunted by visions of her sister Jinx, played by Purnell, and her love interest, Caitlin, played by Katie Leon. The new season will be the show's last and is split into three parts with Act 1 to premiere November 8th and Acts 2 and 3 following November 16th and 23rd respectfully. Netflix previously released a trailer for Season 2 that shows Jinx's plan to attack Plit over and watch it all burn. Netflix is also developing other series set in Runeterra, the world of League of Legends. In addition, the series, the streaming service is creating a new series with CD Projekt Red set in the world of the video game Cyberpunk 2077. A teaser released Thursday invites viewers to return to Night City. Netflix previously released Cyberpunk Edge Runners, an animated series and a prequel to Cyberpunk 2077 in 2022. Netflix is giving a glimpse of the -the behind-the-scenes of Wednesday Season 2. The streaming service shared a teaser for the season Thursday as part of its Geek Week event. Wednesday is a teen supernatural mystery series starring Jenna Ortega as Wednesday Adams, a character originally created by cartoonist Charles Adams. Season 1 followed Wednesday, or played by Ortega. She enrolls at Nevermore Academy, a school for outcasts and the alma mater of her parents, Gomez, played by Louis Guzman, and Morticia Adams, played by Catherine Zeta-Jones. Season 2 teaser shows Ortega, Guzman, Zeta-Jones, Emma Myers, Joy Sunday, Isaac Ordonez, and other cast members on set. Zeta-Jones says the season is going to be bigger and more twisted than you can ever imagine. Ortega asks mm-hmm. this Wednesday, um, if we showed you any more, your eyes would bleed, and I'm not that generous. Wednesday season 2 will premiere on Netflix in 2025. The season began filming in May. Mm-hmm. 
Netflix released another glimpse in the upcoming second season of Squid Game, which premieres December 26. Mm-hmm. Um, the teaser shows Song Ji Hung, portrayed by Lee Jong Jae, prepare for another round of the Delhi game. Frontman, played by Lee Bong Hyung, and the trailer says we're ready to start the game. The second season picks up after Ji Hyung abandons his goal of coming to the U.S. An official description reads. Um, the executive, uh, Jim Ye Yang, the show's executive producer, says the cast and the crew are truly pouring their hearts and souls into filming the second season. I hope you stay tuned and root for us. The first season of Squid Game was a hit when it premiered on Netflix in 2021, and a third season has been confirmed for 2025. One fan commented on a Netflix social media post pro- uh, promoting the season two trailer. This can't come soon enough. The latest preview was revealed at Netflix's Geek Week, which highlights highlighted news from the streamer's most adored shows. Hellhound season two also got a release date, October 25th, and a new trailer during the event. An official synopsis says the South Korean series is back for a second season, and so is the new truth leader, Jong Jin Soo. But what exactly happened to him while he was gone? And what will become of the new truth and Arrowhead factions? True Blood alum Joe Maginello and Bumper and Berlin star Leah Abava have joined the ensemble of Netflix's live-action pirate comedy One Piece for season two. Maginello will play Mr. O in the franchise, while Abava will play Miss Sunday. Returning cast members include Inaka Gooday as Monkey D. Luffy, uh, Makenyu as Zoro, Emily Rudd as Nami, Jacob Romero as Usopp, Taylor Schuyler as Sanji, Ilya Ilarelis as Polino as Alvida, Jeff Ward as Buggy, and Michael Dorman as Gold Roger. The season mm-hmm. two cast will uh, also include Catherine Chaldran as Miss Wednesday, Katie Seagal as Dr. Uh, Kuhiria, and Mark Herlick as Dr. Herlock. Based on a Japanese best-selling manga series by Chora Oda, the series is set to return with fresh episodes in 2025. Filming is currently underway in Africa. Uh, Synopsis reads, Luffy sets off from his small village on a perilous journey to find a legendary fabled treasure, one piece, to become king of the pirates. In order to find the ultimate prize, Luffy will need to assist, assemble the crew he always wanted before finding a ship to sail, searching every inch of the vast seas, outpacing the marines, and outwitting the dangerous rivals at every turn. An anime version with more than 1,000 episodes is also streaming on Netflix. Jeffrey Dean Morgan has signed on to host NBC's adventure reality competition series Destination X. Corrine Henson, the executive vice president of unscripted content, competition, and game shows at NBC Universal Entertainment, said in a statement Thursday, Jeffrey D. Morgan embodies the mischievous international man of mystery, making him the perfect host and puppet master for this new travel adventure series. He's dashing, charming, playful, and the ultimate travel companion. The series is based on a similar Belgian show where contestants are transported in a bus with blackout windows and dropped off in mysterious locations. They must figure out where they are, and the person who guessed the furthest from the action location will be sent home each week. Morgan says, Destination X captivated me with its blend of travel, mystery, and gaming. I can't wait to embark on this wild guessing game across the globe as masters of ceremony, navigating players through challenges that test their mental and physical abilities. Legendary music icon Stevie Wonder, whose career has spanned half a century, announced Thursday a 10-stop U.S. tour time to end just before Election Day. The show is called Sing Your Heart as We Fix Our Nation's Broken Heart, echoing the title of his recent single that has a decidedly political message. His tour is a call for, quote, joy over anger, kindness over recrimination, peace over war, Wonder said according to the release. Wonder, a winner of 25 Grammys, will offer an unspecific number of complimentary tickets as a special thank you to those in our community who are already working tirelessly to fix our nation's broken heart. The 74-year-old recently performed during last month's Democratic National Convention, where he told the crowd he understands the importance of action. 
He told the crowd, this is the moment to remember when you tell your children where you were and what you did. We must choose courage over complacency. He says, it is time to get up and go and vote. The music icon has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Songwriters Hall of Fame. He is a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom and was a prominent voice in Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday to become a federal holiday. Katy Perry's new album, 143, dropped on Friday. Uh, the 39-year-old music icon had previously said on social media, I don't know about you, but 143 for me is a message from my angels. I mean, I love you in some digital language, but it's a symbol that I get and have received in some of my hardest moments, and it was something that started coming to me about two and a half years ago. The 11th track album is Perry's first since Smile, which dropped in 2020. It includes collaborations with 21 Savage, Kim Petras, J.I.D., and Dochi, who performed I'm His, He's Mine, with Perry at the MTV Video Music Awards on September 11th. Perry was also the Video Vanguard Award recipient at the show. She says, I've heard a lot of, uh, I've heard a lot of do this, don't do that, wear less, wear more now, don't cut your hair. One of the biggest reasons I'm standing here right now is I learned how to block out all the noise that every single artist in this industry had to constantly fight against, especially women. She added, I just do what to say with my whole heart, do whatever it takes to stay true to yourself and true to your art, turn off social media, safeguard your mental health, pause, touch grass, and do what you were born to do, just like I was born to do this. Pitbull is set to kick off his first Las Vegas residency tour. The 43-year-old musician will perform eight concerts at the Fountain Blues Blues Live Theater beginning November 8th. Pitbull Vegas After Dark will also feature shows November 9th, January 24th, 25th, and on March 7th, 8th, 14th, and 15th, Billboard reported. The series comes on the heel of Pitbull's Party After Dark tour, which winds down in October. He wrote on social media, joined the party in an announcement that posts uh, that quickly accumulated nearly, nearly 9,000 likes and more than 150 comments. One fan said, booking the flight, it's happening. Uh, the, back by, uh, the synopsis reads, backed by his incredible band, the Agents, and the dynamic dancers, the most bad ones, the fusion of music, lights, and special effects will create a sophisticated high-energy party for everyone in attendance. Tickets go on sale for purchase September 25th. And finally, here are the top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 Senior Shirts for the week of September 21st. Number 10, Kendrick Lamar would not like us. Number 9, Teddy Swims would lose control. Number 8, Sabrina Carpenter would please, please, please. Number 7, Chappelle Ron with Good Luck Babe. Number 6, Sabrina Carpenter with Taze. Number five, Billy Eilish with Birds of a Feather. Number four, Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars would die with a smile. Number three, Sabrina Carpenter with Espresso. Number two, Post Malone featuring Morgan Wow with I Had Some Help. And the number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 Senior Shirts for the week of September 21st, Shabuzi with a bar song, Tipsy. And as your entertainment report for Friday, September 20th, 2024, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back on Monday to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash The Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Everyone have a great weekend, good night, and God bless you all.